Hola amigos, we are south of the border, okay? We walked through the gap in the wall that sleepy Joe Biden refused to finish and I'm standing here with uh, my amigo, his name is Pedro. You see him standing back there and he's huge. Now I used to call him a bad hombre, that's what I used to call him, but now I call him a breakfast taco and quite frankly, he's a huge breakfast taco, big enough for Rosie O'Donnell, but we're south of the border and still in the big, beautiful USA, and the wall just got 10 feet taller, believe me. Yankee Doodle came to town riding on a pony, stuck a feather in his hat and called it macaroni. Look at that, I'm officially more Native American than Elizabeth Warren, officially. Look at this big, beautiful feather that identifies as macaroni. Look at that, isn't that incredible? I've got a feather. And now I look like Pocahontas herself. I look like Pocahontas, believe me. Yes, uh, I hope the FBI doesn't come and take my phone. You know what happens in your drive throughs I'd like a big hearty, because big hands equals big hearty. Is anything else? Yes, I'd also like the hand-breaded chicken biscuit on the pillowy biscuits. Oh, sorry about that. Then we'll get the Monster Angus Thick Burger. Sure, anything else? Yes, and your milkshakes bring all the boys to the yard, so I'm here and I'd like a milkshake. I would go with the chocolate milkshake. I heard it's fantastic. Anything else? That's going to be it. Thank you very much. Hurricane Ian is a very big one, right? That's what I can tell you. You talk about how Joe Biden and Kamala, they sent the hurricane and the water to Florida, and that's what happened. They're such dogs. You talk about Ian, he's nasty. Hurricane Ian's landfall in Florida has brought sustained winds and surging chins to the state. And I will do everything to prevent funding necessary to help those people scuba do. You know, Joe Biden and his whole administration, they hate the people of Florida. I've said it before, but I do want to thank the president for helping out during this time. And also Hurricane Ian is very gay. I believe that this hurricane came because the governor of Florida, Ron DeSantos, he's a bully. This isn't who we are. Come on. The great state of Florida can learn from Cancun and get better weather. Uh, Michelle and I would like to extend our deepest sympathies uh, to the people of Florida and just know that we will act in a swift and effective manner uh, like we did for Hurricane Sandy. Oh, it is clear that Mr. DeSantis is a traitor to the American people. Only now, when his state is in a crisis, does he need our assistance. Sure that you do. The best way to prevent a hurricane is by wearing a mask. Just as Ian is surging into Florida, I will surge into the governor's seat in Texas. Hurricane Ian, like many other things, the price of coup d'etat is all Joe Biden's fault. Senator Leahy, someone named Ian broke into the House floor. No one has benefited more from a thriving economy than women who have filled 58 percent of the newly created jobs last year. You weren't supposed to do that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All Americans can be proud that we have more women in the workforce than ever before. Don't sit yet. You're going to like this. 
And exactly one century after Congress passed the constitutional amendment giving women the right to vote, we also have more women serving in Congress than at any time before. That's great. Very great. And congratulations. That's great. Welcome to Martha's Vineyard. You look at this big, beautiful sign. They say everybody's welcome. They stand with everybody, all the beautiful people. They stand with immigrants and refugees. It says it right on the side. Look at that. But that's not what Obama said. That's not what Oprah said. That's not what Rosie O'Donnell said. 50 people show up at Martha's Vineyard. They got flown there by the great governor of Florida. We call him Rhonda Savage. And he flew them there. And the people of Martha's Vineyard, it says it on the side, we stand with everybody. Hate has no home here. They told those 50 people at NBC, fake news, they called them trash. They told those people, those 50 beautiful people, get the hell out of here faster than anybody's ever seen before. The left are a bunch of frauds, and it's a disgrace. Remember in November, believe me. For Donald Trump, this means that Donald Trump will be the 45th president of the United States, winning the most unreal, surreal <laughs> election we have ever seen.